Ain't nothing wrong with this girl. Marry one is when you got a problem. That's what I was thinking. Come on, man. You got something in your teeth. Open wide. Let me know when you want to take roulette on us being baby. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love P-Valley, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're gonna be talking about P-Valley season two, and we're gonna be talking about your girl roulette and also Duffy. I just got this funny feeling that this whole storyline between the two is not going to end well. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video. You guys let me know, how did you see this whole storyline playing out, especially based off what we seen in the last episode and what we know from both of these characters. It just seemed like something bad is gonna happen when it's all said and done. Now, you guys, make sure you check out my last few P-Valley videos. We dropped the episode four, what to expect video. And yesterday we talked about Little Murder and Big Teak, the whole, you know, are there more than friends storyline. So check that out if you have not seen it. Continue to keep yourself updated on all the latest P-Valley season two content. And I will continue to give you guys these videos. Now, when it comes to this whole storyline, we know Roulette. She is the new blood at the club. She's doing things the way she wants to do them. She's breaking all the rules. And it seems like she doesn't really give a damn. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Now, we know in the last episode that Duffy and Roulette, they met for the first time. And they, they pretty much just hit it off quick. You know what I'm saying? You can tell that the two really like each other. Um, we felt that energy. The crazy thing is Duffy was just crying and, you know, complaining about him and Gidget and how he's going to fix everything. And he, you know, he's sorry about this and that. But as soon as Roulette walked up and gave him that energy, gave him that attention, he changed up real quick. He wasn't thinking about Gidget when she walked up, right? And I got a feeling, regardless of how it all goes, if he continues to mess around with Roulette, is not going to end well at all. Now, we know at the end of the episode, we saw Roulette. She hopped out of the car. She was selling some goodies, breaking the rules, right? And we know what your boy Big L and Duffy was doing. I mean, they was out there doing what they normally do. Of course, Roulette saw what they was doing. So it's quite obvious that the two know exactly what was going on. And Roulette, I believe, once she saw those pills and she saw what they was doing, I just got that funny feeling she's going to try to take advantage of this. And it probably makes her like Duffy that much more. Because she's like, man, he's a rule breaker too. He does exactly what he wants to do too. Mm, I can use this white boy. But this is just what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's exactly how she is, you know, thinking in her head. That, you know, I can use him for some certain things. And if Duffy decides to stick around, which most likely from the looks of it, it seems like he's cool with it. It seems like he's cool with roulette. I'm going to tell you right now. How do you honestly believe this is all going to play out? It's not going to end well at all. Roulette already has a dark past. As these episodes air out, we're going to see more of her story, in my opinion. And we're going to see just, you know, what she's been up to. Now, as far as Gidget, because I know everybody's been asking about Gidget. Where is Gidget at? Now, she's going to be in the next episode. But the sad thing is, from the looks of it, it seems like Keyshawn and all them are going to see Gidget on tour. Now, I really want to see Gidget confront Duffy. You already know Gidget blames Duffy for her mom's passing or whatever. Um, I just want to see how she's going to confront him and how she feels about him, you know, talking and messing around with roulette. And that's probably not going to happen. I hope it does. But I really want to see that. At the end of the day, I know a lot of people was asking about Gidget's character. Of course, she's not in this season like she was in season one. Hopefully, that does change down the line. But we already know Gidget and Duffy, they're not on the best of terms as of right now. And even though she may not be able to confront him about the whole roulette thing in the next episode, hopefully it happens before the end of the season. That's if, you know, your boy Duffy is able to survive all this. Now, we go back to the teaser trailer. We see your girl roulette. She's crying. She's in tears. What the hell is going on? Did something major happen? You know what I'm saying? 
We know that Whisper talked about how Roulette has a dark past. She's done some things that she's probably not proud of. Hell, we saw what she's been doing in the first few episodes that she's been in, and it's been a lot. So I'm pretty sure her past is just flat out crazy. Hell, we saw what she did in Snowfall. That was flat out crazy. So you already know in Pea Valley, she gonna be flat out crazy in some of the things that she's done. But could these tears be about your boy Duffy? Did Duffy get caught slipping, messing around with uh, roulette? Play Russian roulette and got caught slipping and got taken out. Will we be smoking on that Duffy pack? And I'm going to tell you right now, man, I hope your boy Duffy don't go down like that. Um, but come on. Do you honestly believe these two messing around with each other is going to end well? I got that feeling that it's not going to be a happy ending. And to be honest with you guys, the whole feel of season two is very dark um, compared to season one. And watching the first three episodes, the energy that I'm getting is a, a death is coming. I don't know if it's going to be a major death, but you can just feel like a body is about to get dropped off very, very soon. The question is, who will that body be? And if Roulette is crying, if she's in tears, something very serious has happened. I mean, it could be something else. It, it probably, you know, could be something that has nothing to do with Duffy. It could be some personal stuff that she's going through. And I'm going to tell you right now, when Uncle Cliff finds out about what she is doing, Uncle Cliff going to be pissed off. A lot of you guys said that Uncle Cliff most likely is going to kick her out the club, which at the end of the day, it seems like she needs. She needs the club or whatever. She needs to make that extra end to meet. And if she's doing what she's doing, she's not going to last at that club. That girl's going to get herself hurt, which we know doing what she does, it's most likely going to happen. I mean, it's at a, you know, I would say what she's doing is at a high risk for her to get caught up in somebody to do something crazy. You already saw the other customer come in talking about he wants some favors and stuff because he already heard what Roulette was up there doing. So all these customers are going to come in, you know, expecting to get these favors from other girls because of roulette which is going to put them more at risk of getting hurt of backlash from customers it's just bad business all the way around the board and it's almost like a safety risk in my opinion but we're going to find out how it's all going to end you guys let me know how do you see the whole storyline playing out between the two do you guys believe that duffy's going to get hurt or could your girl roulette end up getting hurt um, as far as them two messing around at the end of the day, I believe we all can agree that it's not going to end well. And it's just a matter of time before all of this blows up and we get the results. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support. I will continue to give you guys more P Valley content this week. Stay tuned, continue to drop those fan theories down below, and we're going to continue to talk about them in the future. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.